I must admit, I'm pretty fond of my Orbea orchid, but I often wonder what it must have been like 13 years ago, back in 2003, to ridden the first ever full carbon frame made by Orbea, and that of course was the orca, as ridden by the Uskaltel Uskadi squad with such luminaries as Iben Mayo and Sammy Sanchez. Mm. Oh my eyes! I don't know how this has happened, but somehow I've got my hands on an original Orbea orca from 2003, as given to the Uskaltel Uskadi squad. And weirdly, I'm in full kit as well. And I'm on the Alcalis climb in Andorra. I think it'd be rude not to. Let's give this beauty a spin. The sight of the Euskastel de Stardi squad, all clad in orange, was a familiar sight in the pro peloton from back in 1994 and the team's inception, all the way through to the final year of the team in 2013. Now the team had a true Basque heart, in part due to the fact it was sponsored by the Basque government, and secondly, in the later years, by Euskaltel, the telecommunications company. The Basque ethos extended right the way through to the team's bike supplier. As you well know, that's Orbea, the biggest bicycle manufacturer in Spain. Now Orbea themselves have a really rich heritage dating all the way back to 1840. Now the company themselves started out in business making firearms and guns, would you believe? And they first started making bicycles in 1930 and have never looked back. Stars such as Iban Mayo, Robert Laseca, and Hemar Valdia, and latterly Mikel Nieve and Mikel Lander scored some real prestigious victories for the men in orange. Ciao! Got some real Bass fans there who clearly love this jersey. Talking about their victories, they won such things as the Tour of the Bass Country, the Tour of Switzerland. They also won a couple of Criterium de Dauphines along with a couple of stages of the Tour de France, three stages of the Giro d'Italia, and an incredible tally of 11 stage wins at the Vuelta Espana. Not forgetting, of course, that remarkable win by Sammy Golden Shoes Sanchez in the Olympic road race in Beijing in 2008. It kind of inspires you. Now I bet you were wondering how the orca got its name. Well, I was wondering that too. I thought it might have been something to do with a killer whale, but it isn't. Orca gets its name quite simply. The O and the R are the first two letters in Orbea, and the K are the first two letters in carbon. So quite simple, really, orca. Now straight away, when you look at this bike, it is the design that dates it more than anything, you've got raked forks, and they do give it a fair degree of comfort, but nothing strikes you as being particularly made for aerodynamics. Now the real interesting detail on the rear triangle is the fact that the rear stays are joined, I'd imagine they're glued, and also bolted, which I've only seen on very early carbon fiber frame sets. Now, Shimano Durais provide the group set, and then we have the very shallow section climbing wheels from Durais. Just take a look at those hubs, absolutely pimp. You might be wondering what all this weighs in at, and it is seven kilograms, 700 grams, or so 7.7 kilograms. I'm pretty interested to see how this fares when I really try and give it a go. So let's give it a go, shall we? Whew. 
tell you what, I enjoyed that. Oh, I might need a moment. Well, that was fun, spurred on in part by some very enthusiastic Bast fans. But I tell you what, despite this bike being well over a decade old and carbon technology and design having moved on in leaps and bounds, this Orca isn't a million miles away from the Orca of today. Yes, it's not quite as sprightly, not quite as, as responsive and clearly not quite as light. It's still very stiff, very, very comfortable indeed, and actually took me back to my racing days. Now, if you like this retro video, how about clicking just up here, where Simon took an even older Orbea for a spin down in the Basque Country, or for me taking another retro bike for a spin, this time Stephen Roach's triple winning bike, click just down here. And to subscribe to GCN, there'll be a globe just about here, or you can click on the mountains.